The recent update added tons of new bugs into Toho Lost World, ranging from relatively minor ones like terrible audio issues to major game-breaking bugs like being unable to complete the tutorial or access various important features in the game. The worst part is, they knew about all these bugs, yet they still chose to release this update in which crashes may occur at higher or lower frequency depending on your device. Additionally, their handling of this situation was horrendous. Even though there was a very simple fix to many of these bugs, they refused to acknowledge them on their news website. Instead, they have their usual news post trying to sell more characters. These bugs are not new to the game. Toho Lost World Global, or English version, gets most of its content from the Japanese version. In terms of UI, quality of life, as well as I assume game engine updates, the global version is about 1 to 2 months behind the Japanese version. What you are seeing is the tutorial bug happening on the Japanese version of the game over a month ago. And days after the 5th August update, the exact same bug is reported on Global. In fact, there are two versions of the tutorial bug. The one you just seen softlocks the game because the enemy is not supposed to die on turn 1. And in this one, the enemies kill you on turn 1. And then you get disconnected. Keep in mind that this is happening to completely new players who have no idea if they have done something wrong. At least for this one, you get a server error message. For the one where you kill the enemies, you just get stuck at this screen indefinitely, not knowing what went wrong. This isn't the only bug migrated from the Japanese version. This audio bug I showed at the start of the video also draws inspiration from a very similar sounding bug on the Japanese version. The most commonly reported bug is the school infinite loading bug, where players are faced with a black screen when trying to enter the school. I couldn't find evidence of this exact bug on the Japanese version, but there were several connection and infinite loading related bugs. The similarity between the bugs in these two versions leads me to believe that the global development team simply copy and pasted over the same bugged code from the Japanese version straight into the global version. Remember that some of these bugs existed in the Japanese version over a month before the August 5th global version update, which allowed the rest of the world to enjoy these wonderful bugs as well. If they had copied code from a version of the game with known bugs, why didn't anyone bother to do any testing? All 15 seats are empty. There's no one at the mic, and there's nothing on the agenda. How the f*** is that possible? <laughs> with a bug so severe that some new players couldn't even play the game, why didn't they delay this game engine update? Or if they really had to push forward this game engine update for some reason, why didn't they post anything on their news page about the bugs? I mentioned earlier that there was an easy fix to these bugs, and that was just to change your device's language to English. If your device language was set to certain other languages, it could cause the game's code to malfunction. Keep in mind that it wasn't just the school and tutorial which were bugged. This isn't even the first time the Japanese bugs have been ported over to global. Some of you might already know what I'm talking about, but more about it later on. Anyway, after 5 days of no official update, they had fixed the tutorial and school bug. And that's great, 5 days, I know it sounds pretty fast, like they managed to fix it pretty fast, but this isn't the end. Because there was no official news regarding the progress of these bug fixes, support was probably overwhelmed with tickets complaining about these issues. However, these weren't the only bugs around. This guy was experiencing a bug where the game would crash every time he opened it. He was understandably frustrated because he said he spent lots of money on the game and he was missing out on important login bonuses because he couldn't log in. As of right now, this guy's issue still isn't fixed. And he's not the only one. This guy as well as this guy have been experiencing some sort of game data download bug where they are unable to download the game assets and can't enter the game. By the way, please be civil, don't be rude, don't spam support and don't send death threats, please. This guy is experiencing an issue with the daily stages, where the daily stages for the wrong day of the week are showing up on his client. Upon completing the battle, the server realizes that he's doing Monday's daily stage, for example, on a Thursday, and then it disconnects him. This issue persisted after the 10th August school and tutorial bug fix, and it turned out to be yet another language related issue. This guy had the bug for 5 days and he had no idea he could fix it just by changing his language. My point here is that I would really like to see some better communication and something posted on their news page when there are major issues like these. 
Even just acknowledging that they are aware of the bug could relieve a lot of strain put on the support team. I've mentioned in an earlier video, it's okay that there are bugs, but I really wish they'd be more transparent about it, especially when there's such an easy workaround that people should be aware of. But when bugs are just copied and pasted from the Japanese version, it really feels like they have no quality control, and the players deserve better than that. As I mentioned, this is the second time we had a bug copied over from the Japanese version. I am of course referring to the auto replay targeting bug introduced in the May 11 patch. And this bug, again, has a very similar story. There was no official information about this bug for almost a month, from May 11th until this, which is I think the June 10th, yeah, June 10th uh, update. There was no information, and then on June 10th, oh, we had this bug fixed, and by the way, if you had this bug, you could have avoided it by reselecting your targets. Oh, uh, maybe you should have told you that earlier. But, well, it's fixed now, so congratulations, no more bug. What really baffles me is that around that time, and this is 16th of May, when the auto-replay targeting bug was live in-game, they made a whole post about Diose's Fantasy Rebirth 3, which is a visual bug which doesn't affect gameplay at all. It, basically, you can see this button. If you click on the button, it will disconnect you, and then that's it. It doesn't affect gameplay at all. Oh, whoops, we accidentally added a disconnect button to the game. Uh, watch out for that disconnect button in that one obscure menu. Don't worry about the auto replay bug that's affecting every auto replay. It's, um, yeah, just don't worry about that. I wish they would have more informative news posts like these. But unfortunately, most of the news posts look like these. They are advertising something, and sometimes they even have these predatory banners where they have six friends which, and they try and convince people that, uh, or they try and imply that these, that you are guaranteed one of these. But in reality, if you, like, it's kind of, it's a little bit more obvious here, but in game, you kind of, you have to, you have to press the button and then it's, it's hard to tell that, uh, there's actually a whole list of friends, of other friends that you can potentially get. And all, these are a lot worse than these six, which they put at the front over here to attract people. Again, I kind of talked about something like this before, and yeah. On the global version, we are getting this stage very soon. And you can see here, it's a clip of like someone on the Japanese version having trouble connecting to it. So I hope we don't get this bug as well. And finally, what can you do to protect yourself from bugs? Well, firstly, make a transfer code. This is like a username and password for your account. So uh, if you have it, then you have the option to to delete and re-download the app to try and fix any bugs if you encounter some bugs. If you contact support, make sure you're nice to them and don't spam them multiple times because that's not going to help. And finally, I do want to mention that it can be possible, depending on the circumstance, to uh, refund in-app purchases. So if you feel like you got scanned by whatever phone, game or app, you can Google it, Apple and Play Store or maybe even your credit card company, but keep in mind that you very likely to get banned from mobile games if you like refund purchases like this.